Hey, how is it going guys? My name is Bakanik and today I'm going to play another horror game called Lamppost. I found it on itch.io and I'm sorry for not uploading videos for a couple of few days again. For 400 times. For a hundred, okay, whatever. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. A terrorist has contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A long a random lamppost SCP don't know is under is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Ooh, spooky, spooky wookie. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Dr. Hayden. <laughs> Hayden. <laughs> Our intel suggests that this is the Keter class SCP. Okay, it's a dangerous class, I guess. Um, yeah, Keter. Wait, if I'm not safe, it's safe. It's lit and Keter, right? That's the basic class. And Keter is the most dangerous one, so... Okay, this is a big deal, I guess. Which is... which means that it's difficult to contain. We should be very careful. Um, while observing the object. SCP redacted doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but it's somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the object is in this area appear from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. This is the analog here. This is the analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequencies, signals, and etc. Use it to find those objects by by affected by lampposts and collect them. I will be checking for the other animals as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us, just in case if anything happens. And Dr. Thorn Wait, sorry, um, will provide us with the medical help if we need honey, any. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Copper, and afterward, we discuss this, the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. Um, what is my name? We got Dr. Hayden, Dr. Cooper, and also Dr. Dr. Ramosa. No, Dr. Hayden. Collect five objects. Hey, buddy. My name is Dr. Cooper. That was a totally um, normal name. Okay. Should I? Okay. So and oh, where? Oh, okay. It's a coffee. It's affected by the limp post. Oh, it's a. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a lamp. It's a. Oh, oh my gosh! It's a footprint. Ooh, scary. Spooky. It's a wine. It's a shovel with the blood on it. Hey guys, I think this is not... This is not worth it. Gasoline? Nah. VHS? Nah. Um, what the hell is this? Things. Phone? No, it's not. Book? No. Fan? No. Is there anything else? I don't know. Oh, alcohol. Cool. Um, are you? Hey, Dr. Hayden. Don't be like that. Uh, where is. Oh, what? 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 Oh, it's a... Um, I forget about the thing. What's, what is it called again? Flip decks. Flip dicks. Oh. Oh. So the VHS it is. Okay, Dr. Cooper. I already got all the items affected by this lamppost. I shouldn't be near it. I don't want to die. Dr. what? Dr. Thorn. Whatever. Here, Dr. Cooper. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. 
Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not want to where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with, in with the van. You saw that too, right? Oh, behind you, Dr. Cooper, there's someone. No one is allowed in this area. Yet, there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from the, another dimension. You know that multi multimeter is picking up fire frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamp post. I think this is our cue to leave right now. Okay, no. There's no time. We dead. And what the hell is this? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we need to get out from here. Dead unknown. We discover something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who's tried to get close to it vanish in front of our eyes. My theory is that it's that this vortex of photons create a dimensional, dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. Is extend or uh, whatever. The lamp poles become active when there are there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touch it, the lamp post and the object or a person they disappear. Huh. So the guy, the the guy, the the shadow figure just now must have a electricity running, I guess. <laughs> Because when the guy um, just appear, the lamp post become active. Oh wow, what is this is. Oh wait, it's Bony. <laughs> Hello, Bony. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Seems electricity. Um. Um. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. That's cool. Um, it's a brick. Coco! Hey, Bony! How you doing? Oh, damn, this is... This is a maze. Oh, no, I hate maze. I don't know. Ah, no, no, not you. <laughs> Bony. Um, there's so much bone, bony here. And um, bony. Oh wait, okay, this is Coco. Uh, what else here? We got something. <gasps> um, let's not go there. Uh, okay. Uh, to to any observing, uh, to any observing this, uh, it will look like a person, a dark figure. In the, and in the blink of the eye, it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it uh, the Photon Shadow. Photon, okay. Which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever. Without realizing that your flesh does not belong to you. So, it just take my um, soul or spirit. That's cool. Um, should I intrigue with this guy? Uh, hey, buddy. How you do? <gasps> Dr. Hayden. Hayden? Well, he's going crazy. Who doesn't go crazy when they're trapped in this freaking world where there's no end? So we have to find Photon, huh? That Photon figure. Uh, sometimes the lamp post can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who return. But one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Typical SCP.
I knew it. <laughs> what do you want from me? Oh, that's so scary. I shit myself because of that. Okay, what now? Should I check out Dr. Hayden? Pretty sure he's gone, I guess. Uh, he's still making that business. It's okay. Just let him be. We cannot interact with anything, I guess. Can I throw the brick towards the shadow figure? Should I? Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. I cannot interact with anything. How can I find something if I cannot interact with anything? Wake up. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, I have to... Um... Turn on all the electricity? Hey, yo, what's up, bro? Okay. There's no what's up. There's only what's down. Okay. Now what? Is there any... Any computer left? For me to turn on? Or can I interact with you now? Okay, now I can interact with the lamppost. Because it got ele enough electricity, I guess. I don't know. Hey, I thank you. Um, but you don't make my friends leave, do you? Well, I guess. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Nah, come on, bro. Take me back. <laughs> Niven Handiger. This name seems familiar. I forget. Based on the SCP Foundation lore. Thank you for watching. I mean, playing. Well, yeah, that was it. It's pretty short. Uh, it's interesting. It's not that scary, though, but I like it. Um, because it's SCP. Who doesn't love SCP, okay? Uh, but I'm more to... Uh, whatever. I, uh, you, don't really, you don't really care about that. So, yeah, thank you for watching till then. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay the best. Bye-bye.